Dear Sarah, I don't know if you'll remember me, but I'm type 1 diabetic. I know it might suck a little, but take my advice. Never ever let it stop you. I remember that day you said I had inspired you with my story. Now we can inspire others together. Having a professional netballer have diabetes is so exciting for me. It proves no matter what life throws at you, you can always get over it or not let it stop you. Don't give up and good luck at the World Cup. Love, Emily. She's a superstar today, Sarah Glass. She's a good game player. Well, she's got MVP written all over her. We've kind of made our own family in Sydney because not many of us are from Sydney, so it makes the transition a lot easier, I think. We're going to yeah. train together, live together. We just yeah. play together. Yeah. Family, family, best friends. So too bad if we don't get along. <laughs> there she is. Clow will pick that one up. Oh, Clow! That's a game changer. Her stats are just amazing. Sears has type 1 diabetes, um, so she uh, doesn't produce insulin that breaks down uh, sugar in the bloodstream. For instance, when she plays netball, her levels actually rise. And then when she finishes, it can sort of dump off the back of that. So the type of exercise affects it, the stress affects it, and can all have an impact on, on what she does. Diabetes is a 24-7 job. So I wake up, do my fasting glucose, have breakfast, and inject myself. This is pretty much my pancreas. Um, I have to check my levels maybe, yeah, six or more times a day. So put it into the machine, prick myself, get a bit of blood, and then it gives me a reading. Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, so it's a little bit higher, so then I just put it in my... I think for me, I don't want diabetes to define me, but I don't think people realise the dangers that are associated with it. In five minutes, 10 minutes, you could slip into a coma if you put too much insulin in, or um, if your levels go too high, you can get blood poisoning. So it's almost a balancing act. 2019 was a huge turning point for me. I've never really believed in myself. I've always been quite self-critical and negative. So um, last year was, um, I guess, a year that I really grew into myself and that's credit to the coaches because they really instilled that belief in me and I started to believe it myself. The Super Netball Grand Final. The Swifts are trying to break Sunshine Coast Lightning's winning streak They've won the past two championships. I remember walking out on court um, after the national anthem. All of us girls huddled in a circle in the centre of the court. And I think from that point on, we're there to mean business. Oh, Sarah Clow! She's now scaring the living daylights out of anyone who's outside of the circle. Wrapping my arms around the girls and piling on top of them and just knowing the journey that we've been through together, the highs and the lows and something that I will treasure forever.